I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial based off of the hottest trend um, for spring and summer right now, which is an orange lip. If you had followed me through New York Fashion Week on Instagram and also on some of my videos that I have posted, one of the biggest trends that you are going to find this season is an orange lip very soft eye application, glowing skin, um, things that this type of makeup that is perfect for spring and summer. It's absolutely stunning, it's beautiful, and pretty much everyone can utilize and wear this look. The lip color that I will be using today is an amazing lip color that I received from Giella. And if you've read some of my blog posts in the past, I am absolutely obsessed with her highlighter, which is called I Am Glam Highlighter. And the color that I will be using is Gerber Daisy from Giella. These are custom blend cosmetics. She customizes colors. Um, it, she just has an amazing, an amazing line. I absolutely love everything that she sends me and everything that I have used and, and purchased from her. And I'm also going to be using, um, topping it off with the Gerber Daisy Custom Blended Lip Gloss to go over it. This will be the only orange lip color that I use this season because it is that perfect. The color is just amazing and I could just imagine what it's going to look like on women that have tan skin. Um, I know it's still spring so I am a little bit fairer in color but there are ways to warm up your skin tone and I'm going to show you that in today's tutorial with a little bit of contour and different types of bronzers and the eye is going to be kept very soft and you can really zone in on the eye application with lashes. Now if you don't, I won't be using false lashes in this video today but if you do use Hello Lashes from It Cosmetics you will really begin to see how um, long and thick the lashes do become after using this product for a little bit. I also will be highlighting the skin with Giella's I Am Glam Highlighter above the cheekbone, a little bit down the bridge of the nose. This really attracts a nice focal point from the light or inside or outside of natural light so when you move you have this really beautiful glow on the skin. This is the only highlighter that I really use in my professional kit and also on my personal kit. I will be putting more photos on my blog and I will be linking the blog post below so please make sure you subscribe. And if you would like to see a fuller version of this look, let's just say you're going out and you really want to go full glam with a look like this, please let me know and I will be more than happy to do a tutorial on that as well. So if you like this look, then please keep watching and I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Before today's application, I began with a Cool Mint Revitalizing Mask from IS Clinical. And this is great because it helps leave the skin more luminous, fresh, and hydrated. I always begin my applications with skincare. I'm applying the Youth Eye Complex by IS Clinical. For the face, I am using Reparative Moisturizer by IS Clinical, and I absolutely love this face moisturizer. It is a great base for your makeup application. I'm applying number 50 Serum Anti-Aging Collagen Veil Primer by IT Cosmetics. And what I love about this is that it locks in the moisture and it prepares the skin for a flawless makeup application. I'm applying IT Cosmetics CC Cream to my entire face. And this is a full coverage foundation, but it's not very thick and it also has very good benefits for the skin and it will actually leave your skin glowing, which is perfect for spring. I'm going to apply the Rock Behind the Scenes Eye Primer to my eyelids. I'm going to set the entire eyelid with Orb Eyeshadow from MAC using a large fluff eyeshadow brush E50 from Sigma. I'm taking the color Soba from MAC and I'm going to use my E35 Tapered Blending Brush from Sigma and I'm going to apply it to the crease of my eyes and also a little bit above that by the bone. Now taking Saddle from MAC, I'm going to create depth on the eye and I'm going to apply this right into the inner crease of my lid.
Now taking Anastasia's Covet Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Noir, I'm going to take the eyeliner I'm going to put it right into the lash line. It's almost like tight lining, but I'm going to put it right into where my lashes begin at the root. And this is going to create thickness on the lashes. I'm going to apply IT Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner in the color Copper to my upper eyelids. I'm going to just do a soft line and this is going to also give that glowy look to the eyelids. This color is just, it's an amazing color. Next I'm going in with my absolute favorite mascara which is Hello Lashes Mascara from IT Cosmetics. And I'm going to zoom in at this point because I want you all to see exactly how wonderful this mascara truly is because you really do, need, do not need false lashes. It volumizes the lashes and lengthens them for an amazing false lash result. Now you can see the difference between my right and my left eye in terms of lashes. I cannot tell you how many people stop me when I'm out to tell me how long my lashes are. And I have this mascara to thank for it. On to brows. I'm using the Your Brows But Better Skinny Pencil by IT Cosmetics and I always start at the arch of my eyebrow because I feel that that should be the deepest part and this pencil makes it super easy to fill in your brows really to make them look so natural and full without being painted on. Remember that you want to move away from the mirror a little bit to see exactly how they're matching up and how the color looks from a little bit of a distance. I'm going to cover up my dark circles and I'm also going to highlight a little bit under my eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer from IT Cosmetics and I'm going to create a V. And this is going to allow the area under the eyes to appear more open and awake. Using the pointed precision brush from IT Cosmetics, I'm going to blend the concealer in and whatever's left over, I'm going to bring it down to the outer corners of my nose. I'm going to line my waterline with this highlight pencil from IT Cosmetics and this is just going to give a little bit more radiance and luminosity to that part of my eye. I'm taking Tight Line Mascara and I'm gently going to coat my lower lashes. This mascara wand is just absolutely amazing for this step. At the arch of my brow, I'm going to take Anastasia's Brow Duality in Lace Shimmer and I'm going to highlight under the brow bone. And then using my ring finger, I'm just going to gently blend it in and this is going to give a really nice glow on that area. Taking my bronzer, I'm going to contour my face under my cheekbones and basically I'm just going to apply the bronzer to the hollows of my cheeks and I am using a Sigma powder brush number F10. I'm going to put Spring Sheen Blush by MAC to the apples of my cheeks and I'm going to extend it up a little bit using the Sigma F10 blush brush. 
this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Global Glow. I just picked this up. It is absolutely beautiful for creating this look. And I'm going to apply it to the outer portion of my cheek, closer to where the ear is. Now for some highlighter. This is Giella's I Am Glam Highlighter. I have been using this for quite some time now and I absolutely love it. It's the perfect color and it's excellent for highlighting the face. And I'm going to use the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush number F35 and I'm going to apply it to the cheekbone, the apples in my cheeks, and then I'm gonna bring it down um, also to the bridge of my nose and the cupid's bow of my lip. On to lips, I am lining my lips with Stripped Down Lip Liner from MAC. And now for the lip color of the season, orange, this is Gerber Daisy by Giella Custom Blend Cosmetics. Now you can stop here because the lip color is just so perfect but I absolutely love lip gloss. So I'm going to be adding the Gerber Daisy Custom Blended Lip Gloss by Giella over this. So there it is, my spring makeup tutorial featuring orange lips just in time for this season's makeup trend. And I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. As always, please let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my blog as well. And if you recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram at hashtag makeupbyjosephine. Until next time, have a great day.